Hi, I'm uh, Hannes Chopra. I'm the program director of FinTech at Harvard Space University. Uh, a truly exciting and uh, ambitious role. And uh, I've been nearly 25 years in financial services, having been in leadership positions in uh, Allianz Group, one of the leading financial services providers. And uh, I'm now into FinTech. I manage my own small fund, Rasa Future Fund, where we invest in early stage insurance startups. And uh, I'm an executive coach and also in leadership development. The FinTech program is mainly about um, uh, basically jumping into the world of uh, where finance and technology comes together. So one of the areas which in the last, I would say, 15-20 years has uh, taken a huge change, actually a whole transformation. And uh, if we look at basic things from financial transactions to uh, payments to including investments, um, uh, Actually, so much has changed in the last uh, uh, 20 years, and uh, many, many new startups have come. Some of them have become really, really big, and uh, already household names um, are valued more than a couple of billion dollars. And even traditional banks and financial services providers have changed their approach as they understand that uh, the customer of today, and much even more in the future, is looking for different things. So the FinTech program is basically going into everything which is related to finance and technology together and learning about what is actually happening in this world, how can I approach this world, what does it tell me as a future leader in this sphere uh, and for my further profession. Well, uh, the vision of the program is that uh, we grow leaders here who basically will run uh, the future of fintech in our societies. So people who have all the skills which are needed, all the traditional skills. You need to know about the financial system on a macro level. You need to know about the profit and loss statement of a bank, of an insurance company, of any financial institution. You need to know all those basics, but these are really just basics because now a lot of other things come on it. You need to learn about the new technologies, uh, be it blockchain, be it any other new technology. You need to know about the new incumbents, be it N26, be it Wirecard, be it TransferWise, all those players which are more and more used by the new generation. And based on this, you need to be able to develop your own capstone, your own company, to have your own visions. And even if you go out and don't start your own company, uh, I would see you as somebody who had uh, innovation in one of the leading financial services companies and brings it to a completely new level because of no legacy. The problem of many educational systems, of many people who get educated in current systems is there's too much legacy. And if your brain is filled 80% with traditional stuff, and this is the way how you've learned to think, then it's very difficult for you to adapt to something different and new. And here the concept really is we get you immediately into a different thinking. We have a few special sessions which are related to ecosystem where we really make students to think completely horizontal and not just in one way, but really trying to connect the unconnected things and seeing beyond. So I believe they are well prepared to have such roles later in society. Um, oh yes, uh, to be honest, it's, it's every day. Um, and uh, uh, that is actually an area um, I, I want to keep, not only keep up pace, but also accelerate. For sure, I mean, if I take one example, I, I've been grown in a very, very traditional industry, insurance industry. It's really very traditional. Uh, for many new customers, it is really weird that you actually go and you make a contract with an insurance agent or with a bank. You have to sit, there's a lot of paperwork. There's calculations which you don't really understand. The processes are really very old. A lot of the insurers have legacy systems. Um, when you really come to the need 
of using insurance in a claims handling is usually a journey by itself of a couple of weeks if you're lucky, a couple of months if you're unlucky. And it's a huge, huge black box. So, I mean, just describing this, uh, to make any step in fintech or insurtech, you have to unlearn all of this. And you basically have to say, okay, let's just start from the need of this generation. Let's start from the very simple needs of uh, generation Y or Z and say, why would somebody actually really insure? And what are they concerned of? And how do I find a language where I can in 30 seconds tell this person, this is actually what you get. And this is what you do. And within a day you have a payment. And uh, by the way, our job is to help you in this situation and not to find many ways to keep you away from, uh, from the insurance company. So that's one example of, uh, of a thinking of an industry where major unlearning I had to go through and uh, where the industry is still full of this old learning.